Hello students, today we are going to study about chemical reactions in the saturated hydrocarbon alkanes. The saturated hydrocarbons are unreactive and they do not react with other substance as they consist of single bond which is quite strong and they also do not show addition reaction like the unsaturated hydrocarbon. They also do not show uh, any effect of acid and bases. So let us go into uh, my iPad and study some of the chemical reactions, write down some of the chemical reactions that we observe in saturated hydrocarbon. We will be starting with combustion and then move on to the characteristic reactions of the saturated hydrocarbon, the alkanes, the substitution reaction. We will define them and we will also write down some of the equations related to substitution and combustion reaction. First of all, we will start with combustion reaction. So, let us move on into the iPad. So, what is combustion reaction or oh, what is combustion by the way? Let us define that. C, let us make narrow. C O M B U S T I O N. So, what is combustion? Uh, we all are aware of combustion, like we all know what burning is. So, combustion is like burning uh, and product with the production of heat and light. But here, let us define it. Uh, its uh, combustion is the, let us use a black ink, is the rapid, R-A-P-I-D, rapid uh, chemical c h e m i c a l chemical combination c o m b i n a t i o n combination of a substance s u b s t a n c e substance with oxygen o x y g e n and with the production of and with uh, with the production of p r o d u c t i o n production of heat and light heat and light so uh, what is combustion reaction? Combustion reaction is the rapid chemical combination of a substance with oxygen and with the production of heat and light. Let's uh, take an example of uh, butane and uh, when we talk about uh, butane and combustion reaction, we'll talk about first uh, using a good supply of oxygen. And in the second case, we'll talk about insufficient supply of oxygen or air. So let's sub, uh, first of all write down the equation with a good supply of oxygen. So uh, let's take butane. So butane is C4H10 and we react it with oxygen. It will give you, whenever uh, most of the fuels when they react, they will always give you when, with sufficient supply of air or oxygen they will always give you carbon dioxide and water. So here also CO2 plus water. Uh, let's uh, balance it. So here if we take uh, your carbon dioxide, let's make it as uh, 8. Uh, here if we take 2, then this will become 8. And oxygen will be 13 and water will be 10. So uh, this is uh, this shows come let's make the oxygen a little big it seems the oxygen is a little make it a little big then it looks okay O2 yeah so uh, butane CH uh, C4H10 plus 13 oxygen uh, will give you carbon dioxide plus water 2 butane plus 13 oxygen will give you 8 carbon dioxide plus water so here what we focus into is whenever uh, a saturated hydrocarbon that is uh, here uh, an alkane butane when it reacts with a complete supply of oxygen or sufficient supply of oxygen or air will always get carbon dioxide and water now let's look what will be formed when we have insufficient supply of uh, 
oxygen. So let's take an example of methane that is C, uh, CH4 plus oxygen. Now here it's a we can say limited supply of oxygen or air. We will get the poisonous gas that is CO plus water. So the difference is complete supply supply of air or oxygen we get carbon dioxide insufficient or incomplete supply of oxygen or air will get carbon monoxide so let's balance that so here also two and three and then we have four so you can see clearly that carbon monoxide is formed when we have limited supply of oxygen and carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas because it combines with it stops the uh, combination of oxygen with the blood and therefore it leads to uh, aphexia. A lot of death has occurred because of inhalation of carbon monoxide when insufficient supply of oxygen is there. We also see when uh, we burn a candle, the yellow flame is caused by unburnt carbon particles when there are insufficient supply of oxygen. Now let's move on to the next uh, chemical reaction that is the substitution reaction. That's the characteristic of the saturated hydrocarbon. So let's first we'll define what a uh, substitution reaction is and then we'll be doing some equations. So let's uh, write down the definition. S-U-B-S-T-I-T-U-T-I-O-N. Substitution reaction. R-E-A-C-T-I-O-N. Let's underline that. So this is substitution reaction. So what is substitution reaction? Now here what we are going to do is we are going to substitute show the substitution reaction with the halogens. Halogens are very reactive elements in group 7 of the periodic table. So we will show the substitution reaction with the halogens and the saturated hydrocarbon alkenes and uh, we will be also uh, defining what is first of all what substitution reaction is. So let's write it down. So when an atom comma ion or groups of or G R O U P groups of atoms are replaced or is replaced are replaced P L A C E D replaced by another by another atom ion or groups of groups of atom we call that as substitution reaction so let's understand substitution reaction with an example. So let's take methane that is CH4 a saturated hydrocarbon and we react it with chlorine. But remember one very important thing is substitution reaction here will be initiated with the presence of light that is ultraviolet light UV light otherwise substitution reaction won't take place though we know halogens are very reactive but it should be initiated with the UV light. So methane plus chlorine will give you CH2, uh, sorry, CH3 Cl plus HCl. So here we will see one uh, the chlorine is dissociates into chlorine atom being very reactive. It reacts with the methane, hydrogen of the methane and will substitute it, will replace it and it will form uh, what we call as chloromethane. So let's write that, write that down. C H L O R O chloromethane. M E T H A N E. So here again, chlorine replaces hydrogen and forms chloromethane. The next one, let's take this time. C H three C L plus again chlorine. And remember, don't forget to write UV on top of the 
arrow telling us that it is taking place in the presence of light that is ultraviolet light. So CH3Cl plus chlorine will give you CH2Cl2. CH2, Cl2 and this is known as dichloromethane. Dichloro, CH, L, O, CH, CH, L, O, R, O, dichloromethane, M, E, T, H, A, N, E, plus H, C, L. So, here what we see, one of the hydrogen of chloromethane is replaced by the chlorine in the presence of UV light and it forms dichloro methane so let's move on let's write the further equations now the third equation what we have got we have got dichloromethane so ch2 cl2 plus we react it with chlorine in the presence of uv it will give us again over here one hydrogen gone so ch cl3 that is trichloro chloro chloro methane trichloro methane plus hcl trichloro methane is also known as chloroform and it is a uh, trichloro methane is formed now the last uh, reaction over here ch cl3 that is trichloro methane or chloroform we react with cl2 in the presence of UV and we get CCl4 plus HCl. Now as there are four chloro, so we can write down tetra T E T R A tetra chloro methane M E T H A N E and hydrogen chloride. Tetra chloro methane can also be called as carbon tetrachloride so this is the final product that we obtained uh, when we uh, do when we go through substitution reaction of the saturated hydrocarbon in the presence of uh, with chlorine in the presence of light so uh, this uh, this is the characteristic of the saturated hydrocarbon next lesson next video we will be studying about the chemical reaction of the unsaturated hydrocarbon and uh, I, I hope you have understood this much students and I hope you like my videos if you uh, really like my videos uh, please uh, share please also comment on what are the topics that you want to uh, see the videos on and any questions that you are not very clear with please discuss uh, I hope uh, again I hope you can you like my videos and you can share it with your friends. Thank you for watching my videos.